Hi y'all, welcome out to the range today. What I brought out today, I brought out to Henry All Weather, chambered in the 4570. I've owned this rifle for quite a while. Got it in, I was excited to get it and set it up to deer hunt with, though it's, I know it's much, a little much for deer hunting, but I never owned a 4570, so I was excited about getting one. I expected uh, the Henry rifle would be high quality. When I got it, I was disappointed in it. And I wanted to share it with you. Today I brought it out and I'm gonna shoot it some and uh, see how it functions. I'm planning on putting a scope on this rifle and using it for deer hunting this, this year. But guys, that being said, before we get into the, the rifle, I'd like to say I wanna thank all the people that have subscribed to this channel. I really appreciate it. This is a young channel that I've tried to create. I came into it computer illiterate, YouTube illiterate, editing illiterate, and not very articulate. And I hope I'm getting better as I go along. But I absolutely appreciate everyone that has subscribed to this channel. Every time somebody subscribes, hits the like button, notification bell, and leaves a comment, it promotes these channels. And if it's not this channel you want to promote, promote other channels. Let's all stand together. And that being said, I'm going to get set up, and I'm going to, uh, with open sights, I'm going to take a 25-yard shot and see if it's on paper. And then hopefully we'll step out to 50 and 100 yards. I'm going to shoot a few rounds through it. If everything goes well, I'm going to try to decide what kind of scope that I need to put on it. And uh, if anybody out there has got any ideas, leave me a comment and let me know. And guys, if you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell and thumbs up. Let me get set up and we'll take us uh, at least one 25 yard shot. And then we'll step out to 50 and we'll just shoot a few rounds and see how it goes. Okay guys, I'm set up. I'm gonna bench rest at 25 yards just to see if I'm on paper. And what I'm shooting, I'm shooting a Hornaday, I'm shooting a Hornaday 4570 government 325 grain ball. So that's what I wanna try to get it set up for. Just want to take this uh, uh, 25 yard shot to see if we are on paper. And let's see how it goes. If we're on paper, I'm gonna step out to 50, then maybe 100. Let's see what she'll do. I put four in it, that's what it holds. Holds four. And that being said, let's see if we're on paper, guys. Go down there and see what happened right there. Get right back with you. All righty, guys. <clears throat> I took that first shot at 25 yards. We are on paper. We're about three inches to the left. The elevation ain't really that bad. So I'll move my target out to 50 yards. And I'm going to see what we can do at 50 yards. I've got us three more rounds in there. I loaded up four. We'll, we'll shoot these three rounds. Get us see what kind of group we got. See what we got there, and then we'll move out to 100 yards. We'll shoot us a three, three and see what we got. See if we can get her tightened up a little bit, guys. Let's see what happens right here now. These things really kick hard right here, shooting from a bench. I don't know where I hit at. We'll do us another one right here. Get us, get us derailed right in here. One more, one more right there. We'll, we'll go down there and see how she, how she's looking. Alrighty guys, let's go down and see what it looks like. Okay, y'all went down there and looked, and I'm shooting low and to the left still yet. And so I made a few adjustments on the sights. I don't care much for these sights or buckhorn sights. I think it's uh, cheapening down the Henry. 
and adding to my disappointment in it. But nevertheless, guys, let's take a couple of shots at again and see if uh, if I help bring it up any. Let's see what she'll do. I got four more in the, got four more in there ready to go. Let's see if we can get her lined up. Now I'll tell you what. Anybody ain't shot a 45-7 in front of the bench, they thump you now. But let's see what we got here. See what we can do. All righty. Hopefully. We won't know until we go down there and see what we've got. Let's do us one more. All righty. Let's go down and check it out. I tell you what, I'm gonna have a sore, sore shoulder when I go to work tonight. Okay, guys, went down there and looked. Had one real high, I actually hit the frame on my target stand I'd set up. I believe that was me, I'm not sure. And the other one was high, but I'm still shooting to the left. The whole purpose of this, like I said, was just to see if this thing was even gonna feed ammo so I can get a scope and put on it. But I wished it would shoot better than that with these open sights. And that being said, I moved, I went ahead and moved my target on out to 100 yards. To be honest with you, this thing is thumping my shoulder big time, so I wanna try to Make sure it's going to function properly before I get me a scope. And uh, let's take us a shot here at 100 yards, a couple, and we'll see how it does at 100 yards. See what she'll do right here, guys. I already got one chambered up. And let's see what happens right here. We'll try to take a little bit more time to uh, let's do us one more and we'll go down and look at it it seems like it's going to feed all right like I said I'm disappointed I mean this is not the quality I expect out of a Henry rifle but Oh well, it's mine now and I've got to get it set up to hunt with. Ain't no use crying over spilt milk. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I'm talking about right here just in a minute. All right, guys. Let's go down and, let's go down and look at it and see what she done. Be right back with you. All righty, guys, we shot it 100 yards there. This thing is still pulling pretty, drastic to the left and they're all over the place I don't know where it's me or what my main purpose for bringing this out is because I wanted to see if it would function properly and feed the ammo all right and like I said uh, I'm disappointed in this rifle when you buy a Henry rifle in my opinion you expect quality and I bought this with high expectations this particular one right here has got a hard chrome finish on it, which I do like. I mean, for the weather, the stock, all it's made out of hardwood, and it's got a special stain that will help it to be weather resistant. He's got these buckhorn sights, which I think that takes away from the gun myself. Uh, but when I bought this particular rifle, I was ratcheting through it just... It is clear there's nothing in it, but I was ratcheting through it, and I noticed it would try to lock up. It would get about right there. I couldn't get it no further. And another thing, guys, I noticed, I don't know if you can see right here, right there, it would bite into, and it still done it. See right there? And you gotta really put force on it to get it to, so it's not, it's just that one place. Hopefully the, done it justice but anyway it would bite into it real hard so i contacted uh henry talked to one of their representatives 
and they were real nice. Told the guy the issue, and told him it was locking up. You had to fool around with it to get it to seat all the way back down. I mean, it wasn't seat all the way back down. Real nice about it. He set it up to where I could send it back to him, and I sent it back to him. They kept it for a while. Uh, they contacted me and told me the gun was functioning properly. There was no problems with it whatsoever. And that the big boar's actions was going to be a little different than their 22s. I, ha I have a Golden Boy 22 Magnum and a, a, just a regular 22 LR. Nice rifles. Me and my wife shot them a bunch and they were, they were nice rifles. And these Henry rifles are made in the USA. And you know, when I bought this, in my mind, I was expecting high quality. And uh, so I talked to a uh, gunsmith about it, and I asked him, was that, should that be doing that? And he said, no. He said that was in the mill, milling of this gun when it was made. And he said the only way to correct it is total gun replacement. Although, uh, I've not had it to lock up on me anymore. I mean, it'll cycle through and everything. I still, that's, I mean, I, that's not something I would expect of a Henry rifle. I mean, am, is my expectations too high, guys? Y'all y'all let me know. Leave me a comment and tell me. Has anybody else experienced that? I mean, you can see, when you get right there, it, it'll do good until you get right there. And then when you get right there, it's just like you've got a, and it's a binding right there, which I know over time hit a wire. And it'll, but you know, I, I got frustrated with it, so I just set it back in the safe, and I said, well, I got it out. I said, well, they're not going to do anything, so I might as well get me a scope put on it and use it. I mean, it wasn't, real, it wasn't a real cheap gun. I like the idea of the gun. Now, they make another one like this. It's got the side loading gate on it and the Picatinny rail and a lot better sights on them. And like I said, uh, I don't know if this is just a rare incident with Henry, <coughs> or if it's been a problem that other people have experienced. But I do know one thing, according to what the gunsmith told me, if it would have been a part they could have changed, they would have fixed it. But Ben's to correct the problem would have been total gun exchange, they're not gonna do that. And uh, that's not exactly what I would expect of Henry. Actually, I had decided to never buy another Henry just because of that. And Guys, I want to know, is my expectations too high, uh, what, I what I should expect at LM, or is, uh, has anybody else had an experience like that? And uh, like I said, I'm extremely disappointed. It fed through the ammo good today, so I'm wanting to put a scope on it, use it deer hunting. If anybody's got any suggestions on the scope, leave it in the comments, tell me what would you put on it. I don't want something extremely high, <coughs> and I don't want something extremely cheap either for the recoil on this thing because they won't hold up. But that being said, guys, if you like it, this content, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. Until the next time, may God bless you.